Hey guys, I already primed my skin using the Nivea for Men Aftershave Balm and the Porefessional from Benefit. Now I'm just going to go in with concealer and I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as my under eye brightener slash concealer. And I'm just blending that out with a damp blending sponge. For foundation, I will be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation because it matches my skin like perfectly and it gives a really pretty natural dewy finish. It looks just like skin and then I'm just blending that out with the same blending sponge and I'll be setting my under eye with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. This is my favorite powder to set the under eye area with and then for the rest of my face, I will be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And just so you guys know, the two brushes that I just used to powder are from Furless Cosmetics. I get a lot of questions on those, so I figured I'd tell you now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a bronzer to kind of warm up my crease and also give a little bit of definition. This is a bronzer from Pure Cosmetics. And for the rest of the eye makeup look, it's super simple. I'm just going to be doing a cat eyeliner with a cream gel color from ColourPop. And this is in the color Get Paid. It's like a really cool color copper shimmery kind of eyeliner um, and then I'm just doing like a basic cat eye of course you guys can do this as big or as small as you want but I wanted it to obviously be noticeable so I kind of extended the wing out a little further than I usually would and that's literally all I did for the eye makeup and then I just applied some mascara this is the new Rimmel London mascara and it's supposed to tint your lashes over time and then I applied some false lashes on top of that as well so now I'm gonna take the Stila stay all day felt tip eyeliner and I'm connecting the lash band to my inner corner just to make it flow a little bit better and you won't be able to see where the actual lash band starts and then I just applied some of that same mascara to my bottom eyelashes. And then I filled in my eyebrows using the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in the color Blonde. I use Blonde because it's the most neutral and ashy out of all of their eyebrow cake powders. So I really like the natural look that it gives and I didn't do anything too dramatic. This is just usually how I fill them in like anytime. And then I set them in place using the Essence Clear Lash and Brow Gel. And then to bronze up my face, I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Glow Together Bronzer. It has half matte and half shimmer, so you can kind of decide. But for this one, I kind of mixed both of them together because I wanted a bit of a glow. And I just kind of bronzed up all of the areas where like the sun would kind of naturally hit your face. And then for blush, I used the NARS blush in the color Luster. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. It gives such a nice sheen to your cheeks. And then on top of the cheekbone, I will be using a Pure Cosmetics highlighter and this is the sun kissed glow highlighting palette and I use the color Aurora and I just dabbed that onto my cheekbones it is like a cream highlighter which I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it but I ended up loving it and I've been actually like reaching for it more often recently than some of my other highlighters and then for lips I used the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in the color corset which is a super gray kind of beige color and I wanted it to contrast with the copper eyeliner and I really really love how it turned out. I hope that you guys like it as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!